Hello everybody, it's Coach Rosler here. So in this video, we're gonna go and cover uh, volume of spheres and composite figures. Um, so these are the last two parts that we need to go ahead and cover for this unit. Um, one thing to go ahead and understand is that for a sphere, um, you, it initially thinks of it as a ball. And this ball, everything that occupies the area inside is what we wanna go ahead and identify. Now, there's various ways to go ahead and think about it. You can think of it as a ball, you can think of it as a sphere, you can think of it as a, um, as a moon, whichever case it may be. Now, us people are usually on the out, out parts of the earth, and we're not necessarily inside of the earth, we just happen to go ahead and just be walking upon it. Now, if we think of it as the inside, so the cores, all these cores actually contribute to, um, to being part of the volume. And so the areas within the, the Earth itself is made up of all these different layers. Now, for spheres, that's initially what we have going on. Now, as for composite figures, it's, it is what it sounds like. So a composite figure, you put multiple figures together and it comes with a, a single, um, I a single like picture or single, um, image that we can go and see. So in this case, we have a traffic cone. So this traffic cone that you see when you're going, you're walking down the street, you're going to school, whatever it's at, it's actually combined with two figures. You have a cone, you have a rectangular prism. And when we combine it, then this is what we get. Now what do you see in real life? If you think about the prisms that are inside the, uh, this home or this old building, you have to think about it as, I, oh, I have a rectangular prism right here. I know my lines are not straight, guys. Um, so here's some of the ways that you can think about it. So here, 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 and here. Okay, that's one. Another way you can think of it as is, is the triangle prism that we have going. I know this is going to look slant a little bit outward, but a triangular prism that we got going. Um, so we got multiple figures. Another figure you could probably uh, may have not thought about or could probably see on here is this pole here. This pole here can represent a cylinder because you see it's round and it goes all the way straight down. So it could be a cylinder at that point. Okay. Now, all these are just examples of where you see them in real life. So just be aware of these things are around you in your neighborhoods or your homes. Now, formulas, how do you solve for these? Now, for a sphere, you initially just have four thirds pi radius cubed, and as you go to the volume of the sphere. And so that's pretty much gonna be basic across the board for that one. Now, a composite figure, is multiple figures, uh, multiple uh, uh, prisms or cube, uh, pyramids, cones, cylinders, cubes put together. And so you have to identify the composite figure you can go ahead and use many, so many of these. So you can use um, the volume of a cylinder, you can go and use this one, you can go and use that one and so forth. And so other things you can go ahead and work with. So just be aware that you're gonna to have to be using these, you have to identify these. Now let's go ahead and go back. Okay. Okay, now from here. So we're looking for a sphere. Now the radius is, well, one thing that you have to understand too, is like, what is a great circle? And a great circle is initially the circle that's within this, um, this sphere. Now, you can go and use, like say that, oh, I'm identifying it, this one, I'm identifying this as the great circle, which is great, it's fine, it works out. And so this circle will have to go ahead and come out as here and six, and that would be my radius, six centimeters. Now for number two, because that's the one we're gonna solve, the radius of this happens to go ahead and be like, you have this whole entire line, which is 30. I'm looking for this circle right here. And so my great circle, it's gonna look like this, so 30, so 30 inches. So that means I'm gonna take half of that, which is gonna be 15. And so 15 inches is gonna be my radius. 
And so now I can solve this. So I'm going to go ahead and use my volume, which is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And you're going to plug in what you want, what you know. So 4 over 3 pi 15 cubed. OK, just make sure you have your calculus with this. So as we calculate this, let me see. You're going to put 15 cubed. And that's going to give you 320, uh, a really big number. So 4 over 3, pi, 33.75. And so now we're going to go ahead and multiply uh, 3,375 by 4. So times 4 divided by 3. And that gives you 4,500 pi. And that's going to be my volume. So it's asking you to express it in terms of pi and round to the nearest hundredth. So that means it's going to be 4,500 pi inches cubed. Okay, because in volume it goes by cube. Um, now from here, we're going to go ahead and look for look for our part. So that means look for that uh, hundredth. So it's 14,137.166. That means that's going to go ahead and round up to 0.17 inches cubed. So there you go. So there's your volume for that one. OK. Um, so that's going to be the end of this one. For the first example, now you'll have you'll encounter some of these where you're given the volume and you have to work backwards to go and look for a variable. So you're looking for the missing dimension of the sphere. Now we're gonna do no, we're gonna label what we know. So my volume is equal to five sixty two point five um, pi, and we're gonna go ahead and look for the radius, which is what we don't know. And so my volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in what I know. So it's 562.5, which is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. OK, so all I did was take this, replace it with that. And so now it's here. And from here, get the pi there. I can cancel the pies because they both have them. So we'll go ahead and just have them there. So 4 over 3, r cubed, 562.5. And so now we're going to go ahead and get rid of this 4 over 3. Now, one way to do it is you can go ahead and multiply by 3 because it cancels this out. And you can go ahead and since this is multiplying by three, we already have it over here. We can divide by four because this four is actually multiplying. So divide by four. So now these are canceled. Okay. So we divide by four over here. So now we have this. So if you kind of notice, it kind of flipped over. So we'll go ahead and type it in. So 562.5 times three divided by four. So you should get four to 1.875. And that's going to be R cubed. OK. Now here's the thing. So once you go and do that, you want to go ahead and cube root this. Cube root. Cube root it. Now for those who have issues with this, what you would type into your calculator will look something like this. Four. 21.875. And if you have that little carrot, you can put the little carrot. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit because this is where it gets a little bit. So you put the little carrot and you put parentheses one third. And that can come out too. And so that'll give you the same response as 7.5 here. So that is going to be a radius for this one. 
So it'll be 7.5 inches for this one, okay? So just be careful, um, especially when you're trying to go ahead and solve for the radius, because this is the part where it does throw off and it could be calculator human error based on what you type into the calculator, okay? So make sure you look for that carrot. Now, a great circle, um, I'm just gonna fly through it. So a great circle is looking for the area of, so how do you find the area of a great circle? Area of a circle has, it's just pi r squared. So if I know that's gonna be my area, and you're actually gonna look for the volume, so volumes equal to four over three pi r cubed, you have to go ahead and set these two equal to each other. So set them equal. And you can go ahead and solve for the R in that case. Okay? And then you plug it into here. So in this one, solve for R. And then you go ahead and plug in, plug into the volume. formula okay so just be careful uh, when you're doing this one and just to go and get you started oh your squared is equal to 169.5 and then i'll let you take it from there okay let's see what else we got okay so last one for the sphere now from here, uh, my circumference, given a great, uh, great circle circumference of two pi, oh, 10 pi feet, find the volume. So it's the same idea. So my volume here is, I'm looking for the volume. So that's volume is equal to four over three pi r cubed. And if we're trying to solve for the circumference, my circumference is equal to two pi r. And if my circumference is already equal to 10 pi, I'm gonna set these two equal to each other. So it'll be 10 pi equal to two pi r. These cancel out, 10 equals two r. Divide by two, r is equal to five. So now five is my feet, uh, five feet for the radius, which is here. And the last part, is that you're gonna go and plug into the volume formula. So the, the other, uh, when we started it, you saw for R. That was my first step, just like we did over here. And then my next step, let's go plug it, plug into volume. So my volume is four over three pi R cubed. And so be four over three, and that'll be pi, and it'll be five cubed. Five times five is 25, 25 times five gives you 125. So it'll be 125 pi times four over three. Uh, so from there, all I did here is I just multiplied three squared and it gives you 125. And now you can go ahead and take 125 times four and then divide it by three. And then that should go ahead and give you uh, 166, 166.66, and that's repeating. So it'd be 0.67 pi, and that'll be your volume. Okay, 166.67 pi. Okay. Um, now, if you happen to go and multiply it, I know some of you like to see the values of it. When you multiply in your calculator, you should get 523.598, and you round to nearest hundredth, and so that's become 0. 0.6. So that one, round it up. And so that's your volume for this one. Okay, so this is feet cubed, feet cubed. Okay, um, so that's it uh, for the spheres. And then just be careful when you're starting your process, okay? Um, Always remember that area and circumference still apply to this uh, to this section. So just be careful whenever you're doing these spheres along the way.